Hey, how are you? My name is Emilio and thank you so much for joining me on this video today. I love technology and I'm really excited to show you how to transfer the data from a Mac to another Mac. Specifically, we're doing this from a Intel CPU Mac, so an older MacBook Pro, over to a newer MacBook that is running the M1 processor, which is the Apple processor. Uh, now, the steps are going to work, to, you know, if you're going from an M1 to an M1 or from an Intel-based CPU MacBook to a newer one, even if you're going from a laptop to a desktop to an iMac or an iMac to a MacBook. Either way, we're going to be using a simple step that is built in by default into the Macs, but we're doing it specifically from an Intel-based MacBook to a M1-based MacBook. So hopefully you find this helpful. So here are our two Macs. The one on the left is our brand new Mac. This is running the M1 processor. The one on the right is an older Mac running an Intel processor. But we are gonna now transfer all of the data from that right Mac over to the left Mac. The great thing is that both of these systems are built up, ready for this process right out of the box. You don't have to go and download and install anything new. You can do it right out of the box and transfer all of your data over. The tool we're gonna to be using to copy the data over is Migration Assistant, and it's bundled by default. But the first thing we need to do is the computer on our left, so a brand new M1 Mac, we need to configure it, do some basic config and get it in a state where it's ready to go to the Migration Assistant and then start copying the data over from the old to the new Mac. So select your country and region first, my case of course being Australia, so we're just gonna select Australia and select continue. For this demo, we're gonna say accessibility, we're gonna select not now, but you can configure each of these right now. And you also wanna make sure that this Mac is connected to a valid Wi-Fi network with internet access to connect to that Wi-Fi. We then go through some privacy and data settings and if you're happy with those, you can select continue. And now we've reached the point where we now need to migrate the data. So you see there's a couple of options, migrate from a Mac or migrate from Windows, of course. We're selecting migrate from a Mac and we're using Migration Assistant. The new Mac will now go into like a waiting state where essentially it's now waiting for data from another computer to transfer over to this computer. And you see that it's sitting there waiting for a source. It's looking for a source. We now go to our current computer. On our very far right, we're gonna open up the Finder. We're gonna select Applications, scroll down to the very bottom, open up Utilities, and in there you will find Migration Assistant. So this is the application that we're gonna go ahead and open on our Mac that has all of our data that we wanna transfer over. Here is our wizard. We're gonna go through the basic steps in this computer. You select Continue. You then enter in your password, of course, because it needs admin privileges. We select OK. Your Mac will then essentially close out of all of your applications and then put that Mac in a state where it's ready to be able to transfer the data over. Here is the next step. We are now selecting that we wanna transfer data to another Mac. So from this Mac over to the Mac on the left. So we select to another Mac and then we select continue. So the Mac on the right should now show up on the left and there it is, excellent. That means it's now established a connection between the two computers. The next step is now to select continue you'll be presented with a code. Essentially, it's just an authorization code to ensure that there's a trusted connection. Those two numbers match up, which is excellent. That's exactly what you want. So if you're happy with that, we now select continue on the computer on the right. The computer on the right essentially is now starting to gather all the information necessary to be able to present that to the computer on the left, where you can then select what sort of data you wanna transfer over from the right computer over to the new left computer. So the new computer has now started populating some information of the computer on the right, including the applications, your home drive, which in this case is Emilio, files and folders, as well as some settings and config information on the computer on the right. This will take a little bit of time. Essentially, it's gonna calculate the space and gather all that information. You can then get specific around what data you wanna transfer over. It doesn't have to be everything. It can actually be selected data as well. Now your M1 Mac may have enough capacity, but in my case, you'll see that it says that I don't have enough capacity on my left Mac to be able to get all the data from my old right Mac to the left one. So now you can actually get a little bit more picky and select exactly what data you wanna transfer over. 
It doesn't have to be everything, it can be selected. So you can go into here and unselect certain areas that you do not want to transfer over and keep the ones that you do want to transfer over ticked and selected. So all the data, the profiles, the settings that I want to move over is ready to go. So I can now go on my left computer and select continue. I now set the password for my Emilio profile. So this is the password that is the same as the password on the very far right computer. We tick, select continue. The transfer will now commence. Now this will take a fair bit of time. And of course, the more data you have, the longer this process will take. So just let it do its thing. Make sure that the computers are connected to power. And then after some time, all the data will have been transferred over from your current older Mac over to your new M1 Mac. The migration should then complete successfully. You set the left and to the right, both show that everything looks good. So we can now select done, completed, and you'll be presented with the login profile as normal, which is excellent. So there it is, the left Mac ready to go, the right Mac as it was just beforehand. And now we can log into that left new M1 Mac and it should look the same, at least having all the data that we've selected over and transferred from that old Mac to the new Mac. So that was the steps, how to transfer the data from one Mac to another. As I said at the start, it doesn't have to be a MacBook to a MacBook, a laptop to a laptop. It can be the laptop to the desktop, between iMacs, between MacBooks, between Mac Minis. This process will work the same as long as we're all in vicinity of each other, they're on the Wi-Fi. You can just transfer that data between the two systems nice and easy right out of the box. So that's it. Thank you so much for spending the time. Appreciate it. Do what you need to do by liking, commenting, subscribing. Check out some of my other videos as well if you do want to learn about more things around all things tech. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.